Watch this, I'll teach you what we did on our ships with a five inch bow line. And you had to roll it up and unroll it with one man. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, I can barely get this vacuum hose rolled up. Like it's kicking my butt. And he said, watch this. All right, let's check your work. See what grade you get on your homework assignment. Wow. Did you roll that up? Yeah. Yeah, you did. I did a good job. We're gonna play a quick game of show and tell. I show you quickly what this hack looks like, and then Jesse will tell you how it works and how you can do it too. I don't know why I always have to lose my gloves. That was pretty good. That was what's, pretty good. What's crazy is just being unraveled in a very abusive way. Mm -hmm. Was already trying to trying to get it to bend the wrong way. Yeah. See, most people, and in my like, yester life, mm -hmm. you try to roll up a hose by just like rolling, rolling, rolling. Like you know those stupid things on the side of suburban houses where you crank yeah, it. Right. Those things suck. Yeah. I've always battled those. It's not natural. Yeah. For the hose to bend that way. Shall we yeah. demonstrate? Yes. But before we do, I want to tell you about an advanced level that Ooh. I've never told you about. Ooh, I like that. Do we yeah. tell them that now or do we tell them the basics first? Um, I'll tell them the basics first. Okay, hold on. Let's do the backstory. Okay. This type of stuff happens to me and I nobody would believe it. It really me, but does. This really happened. And I don't believe this stuff until be, until I'm there with you. Like someone <laughs> grabbed Jesse's butt in Trader Joe's once and I believed it because I was there. It was yeah. like this lady did this random grab and go. I don't know. Like a flyby you. grab. Doesn't happen to me very often, but <laughs> ladies <laughs> <laughs> So here's the deal. I was working at a job site and I was rolling up some very large vacuum hose. I think it was like two or three inch hose. And all my life, I've tried to turn the hose, whatever it is, garden hose, air hose, electrical cord, you turn it, mm -hmm. and you turn it, and then it gets turned into a knot, and you go down there, and you fiddle fart with it, <laughs> and then you like keep turning it, and then you go to unroll it, and then you gotta like, because <laughs> yes. it's all twisted up. So a guy comes walking up to me, and he had that lives under the bridge look and he did live under the bridge he was a homeless veteran so i give the guy credit he said do you want me to show you what i learned in the navy and i'm like well that's some clout if they teach you in the navy it might be worth learning you know i'm saying oh, let me show you what i learned on youtube because i'm a i'm like the super clean cut guy and this guy's got this beard and he's kind of just you know Th that's who you get good advice he's kind of getting along and i'm like okay all right time to humble myself he says, watch this, I'll teach you what we did on our ships with a five inch bow line. And you had to roll it up and unroll it with one man. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, I can barely get this vacuum hose rolled up. Like it's kicking my butt. And he said, watch this. All right, let's check your work. See what grade you get on your homework assignment. Wow. Did you roll that up? Yeah. Yeah, you did. I did a good job. I told you guys this was gonna be a good video. So this changed my life for, for a lot forever because I no longer fight things when they're unrolled and rolled up. So Alyssa did a fantastic job rolling this up because all I had to do was grab the end of the hose and walk and it's a straight hose. Can you it's repeat not. that part? Alyssa did a good mm -hmm. job. Now, I used to run a business that had a lot of hoses, <laughs> and I could always tell when someone else <laughs> rolled the hoses up. I'm like, who rolled this hose up? Because they get all combobulated and twisted up. But I will say, fair warning, first of all, that if you're a lefty and a righty tries to roll up your hose, oh. it's gonna mess with your head a little bit but you can figure it out. That's kind of an advanced level thing. Cause I used to have a left-handed employee and he'd always roll my hoses up backwards, but it was okay <laughs> as long as I knew he rolled the hose up. But when you try to roll it up lefty then righty, it won't work. This is what 
the homeless veteran guy showed me. He said you cannot roll over and over the same direction like this because eventually the hose will start to get knotted up on the other end. So as you go out to the garden and you turn this way and you turn that way and you get the, ro the hose all turned <laughs> like this and it's like this in your yard and then you go try to roll it up on your hose reel, it can't roll up. It's not how they work. But you've, you use this method, it doesn't matter which way the hose wants to turn, you'll be able to roll it up. He showed me that when they used to roll up these bow lines, they would make one loop to the left, and then they would make one loop to the right. He already screwed it up. No, I made a mess for myself. So one loop to the left, and then this loop goes under. I will do this over Jesse's shoulder because you'll feel like, what do you say, like a left-footed monkey or something? Yeah, left-footed what's your, monkey. What's your phrase? Yeah. Hold on. Then you do another loop to the left, and another loop to the right, and another loop to the left. <laughs> I would love to see people's reaction videos to trying this method. Yes, that would be amazing. <laughs> that would be hilarious. But look, I took that, that knotted mess and it's straight now. And then I'm gonna make a loop under. So my hand is going under. I think a better term, what makes more sense to me, is like under over or yes. over under. And it's really hard. Yes. I think it's challenging to do this, but once you get it, you'll never forget it. And when you're, you're at the party and people are like, hey, show us your best skill, and you're like, watch this. So over. It's cooler than being double jointed. Yes. Remember when that was like the ultimate cool thing? Yes. And under, and then over, and then under. So it's, it's a little fast, but my hand is going underneath, and then I'm laying the hose down. So now, even though this is underneath and it looks like it would kink, if I grab the hose and just start walking with it, I think this hose is a better example because that hose, you already trained it. So this oh, yeah. hose looks like a rat's nest. So if you can get a good start, this might be a chance to show you a better technique or like an advanced technique. So the hose already wants to bend this way. Uh -huh. So I'm not gonna try to stop it. So if it wanted to bend the other way, I would start with an under like this. So it wants to bend this way. Well, see now I don't know what I did, but now it wants to go the other way. This is the advanced trick though. You don't fight the hose. So if you think that your hose should always be an over and an under and an over and under, you're gonna get mad because sometimes you have to put in two overs or two unders. <laughs> this hose wants to roll up left-handed. Okay. So my unders are going this way. Uh -huh. Right? Remember before I was going this way. Mm -hmm. So now this one wants to go under this way. Okay. And over. So this hose wants to be left-handed. Where's Anna when you need her? I think she might have rolled it up. Huh? So I went under but it's backwards from what I was showing earlier. It's a little confusing. I think I beat the other one into a righty. That could be what happened. And so I did it successfully. If you run into a situation where the hose just like, no matter how much you want to go under like this, and it keeps unraveling like that, like, ah, it won't go under, it won't go under. Then just do another over and you'll get that one out of the way. <laughs> and then you can do an under. And that's okay because when you unravel the hose, it'll still unravel fine. And this one's actually gonna be an over too. <laughs> so that hose rolls up left-handed. But if I grab the hose and start walking with it, it's super cold out, so this hose is kind of stiff. So if you have something like that, you can just grab the other end give it a gentle pull. If you guys can do one thing tonight to go to bed happy, go coil one hose and I promise you, you'll sleep better. You'll fight it, trust me. If you haven't done this before, it will like really mess your brain up. But once you figure it out, it'll change your life. So you can do this with cords, hoses, 
all kinds of stuff. And when you put your stuff away, you can just grab it and start walking to wherever it is that you want to go instead of having to, you know, do the Christmas lights thing. My suggestion is during the holidays, make sure to feed your family a lot of eggnog and you could have coiling races. Yeah. Speaking of a race, I think we should have one. You think? Yeah. Oh God. I'll take the difficult hose. And you I'll can have the easy hose. The black one? That was twice as long. Okay, I'll take the long one and <laughs> really? you can have the short one. And I'll bet I still beat you. All right, Alyssa is setting up the stage. Are you ready? Wait, wait hold on. Okay. On your mark. What in the Get world? Set. What in the world? Go. My goodness, you're a cheater. Oh. I would say that's about even. I had a pretty difficult host. My goodness, this thing doesn't want to coil up for its life. <laughs> All right, well, you did have about a four coil head start. All right, are we on to the uh, round two? Yeah. You can have a little head start. Okay. Just to make it even like it was last time. Go. You ready? Yeah, go. Kay. Oh, I'm done. Really? That's pretty close. That's not bad. Well, you had a four coil head start on that one, so. <laughs> now you're doing cords? Let's just put this cord I'm ready away. to end this video. All right, Let's see what happens. Oh, it's got a mind of its own. It wants another under. No, it wants both. <laughs> it wants an over and an under. Not bad. If you're really good, your loops are perfectly even. Yeah, if you if you get really good at this and you have like a place in your work trailer or your garage and you know the size of like coil that you need, you can get pretty good. And once you get your your hoses kind of trained, they'll fit right in the spot that you want. Anyways. <gasps> thanks for joining us on this video, guys. You have to try it. Do it and don't give up. I have seen and I have paid employees good money and they always give up. Don't give up, it's worth it. I wonder if somebody will end up on like America's Most Talented for this.